Hello friends, welcome in this new tutorial of ERP SAP team. Today we are going to discuss a, a basic and important topic. How can we check the your MM documents are released or not released? So we have a transaction code. You can develop this transaction code for your company. Was just applying the basic logic. ZMMR underscore Ariel. Okay. This transaction code is a workflow status for the workflow status report. For example, uh, we are going to check the purchase order report for our plan 3002. And uh, from document date to this document date, 1st uh, January 2022. 2031st March 2020. I just want to get the data of the purchase order who has created, who has approved this data for some query. Okay. I repeat again, this is for the workflow status report of EMM, your EMM documents. In SAP, there is a process that you just create, you just post your MM document, then send it to for multiple stage approval using workflow so this report is very important if you are creating multiple mm documents like purchase apo po uh, purchase requisition service entry sheets and all okay so we are going to execute this transaction code and this is the beauty of this transaction code that it give you overall status of purchase order created between the such periods. If you have a document number, means you have a purchase document number, list of the purchase document number, okay? So, during this period, we have cre we created the three purchase order, which, which are in the, still in the process mode. If some purchase orders are approved if some purchase orders are approved then system will give you approval stage okay for example if i just want to remove this data like uh, 1st january 2020 to 31st march 2022 the purchase order created in such duration we have changed the duration You have lot of options. See, these uh, four purchase order is created, and uh, one is uh, up approved. Okay, so hope you understand. And the transaction is. ZMM underscore zero zero four. This is the report for PO and a good receipt and SES. Okay. For example, uh, in our plan three double zero two, and uh, from first January two thousand twenty to thirty first December two thousand twenty, I just want to fetch the data of. Uh, uh, our plant during such and such duration in zmmr underscore 004 we have three options for report of the purchase order report of good receipt report of service interest first we are going to check the report of the good uh, purchase order and here we have checked that the report of the workflow the second we are going to check the report of the purchase order and uh, in this report, the system will give you a unified report uh, regarding the who has created the data, who has uh, approved this data, who is the releaser, who is the approver, who is the initiator and all. System will take the time. You have to wait and watch.
in sap mm is very this is very important module of erp one of the very important module of the erp because uh, during the process of the procurement it's very important procurement is a very important process of for a, any company because uh, procurement of raw goods procurement of finished goods procurement of any heavy machineries for your uh, procurement of softwares procure, procurement of services for because without without procurement you are you are not able to go, run a company you are not able to run an organization you are not able to run a business for this you need to supply the material or services from external vendors then sap mm play a very important role for your business your organization your company okay a duration of such periods if we are going to initiate the purchase order to the vendors for after, after the finalization of the rates and acceptance of that purchase orders vendor has supplied the material regarding on the basis of your purchase orders and if everything is all right the condition of goods is okay fine and your competent authority is allowed to receive that goods against that purchase orders then in sap mm you have a very very nice transaction code miz omigo can receive the purchase order the same purchase order is hits in your store and warehouse record and you can distribute your uh, finished goods which you received Uh, supplied by the vendor at the different different storage location at the time of the requirement you can utilize that uh, that goods in your projects wbs and maintenance orders for sales purpose if your materials are defined for the sales catering the sales orders and all so this is a very important uh, softwares very important modules so we are creating such and such activity here okay and if you are planning to become the sap mm consultant then it's very 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 nice sap mm and sap fee could play a very important role hope you understand this reports it taking longer than usual time so i'm going to terminate this transaction okay stop stopping this transaction okay i'm uh, going to execute the transaction code again zmm underscore zero zero four for the smaller period three double zero two and uh, First two thousand twenty one to thirty first March two thousand twenty one. Going to give the another period. So it's my humble suggestion to all of you that please uh, running such heavy report in the background. Once you, you are going to finish your job and you have a plenty amount of the time in the evening time. In the evening you are just set up your background jobs and. Uh, tomorrow when you uh, join your office then log in and sm37 you can check your report in sm37 and you will get all the extracted data it will save your time it will it will utilize the beauty of sap server cloud activity okay so it's my humble suggestion to all of you for the report extraction use the background job program okay we have already uploaded a tutorial regarding the how can we execute the sap job in background so you can follow the tutorial okay so due to some reason uh, this transaction code is not uh, running good okay so we are going to schedule this job in the background how can we schedule this job in background i'm just going to okay see zmm underscore 004 i'm going to execute in the background 
and uh, plan 3002 and uh, first January 2021 to 31st March 2021 and I'm just going to execute this job in the background is execute in the background okay for the immediates you can schedule this and for any date and time and, uh, click on the save a background was job. a background job is scheduled you can check this job using sm37 sm37 report will reflect you schedule click on the execute see this job is scheduled and duration is 23 second hope you understand okay now we are going to see how to check the warehouse stock mb52 in mb52 the plant is 3002 storage location is 1000 if you know the any specific type of the material code then you can choose I'm just going to execute this report for the current status of our warehouse see this is the plan this is the storage location this is the description this is the material the availability of the material and this is the numbers okay so these are the value in the transit restrict rate okay if I'm going to select this column and uh, click on the descending orders, no data is in transit or in the transfer mode. Okay, so you can check this the inventory amount, whole inventory amount. Okay, I just want to check the data uh, of. Uh, see uh, the data which received in the current financial year last financial year the first april 2021 to 31st march 2022 and the flat list the movement type 101 okay so material document list uh, for the goods of the moments okay so i'm just going to check out the record of the same reading mm documents see during this time only four four materials has been procured against these purchase orders these are the two number of the quantities these are the number of the quantities these are the amount of the quantities so only four material has been procured during the given period so you can also identify the data of procured during the current periods okay moment type is 101 101 is good receipt against purchase order which is supplied by the vendors okay so hope you understand this process okay now i'm going to check our background job which i have scheduled in sm37 report sm37 report this job is active okay and once this job is finished the status is going to finished you can click on this and uh, uh, you can click on this here click on this pool double click the report will open okay so this is how the some basic mm concept we have discussed today okay you can utilize this okay and uh, use in your daily routine job of the sap ml thank you have a nice day see you in the next tutorial keep smiling bye bye